Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more American goodies. Yeah, this looks like an exciting little selection and my interest is particularly piqued by these dots pretzels. Yep, and what is more exciting is there's a new form of Dots pretzel, mm. so I can't wait to try that. It's been so long since we've had I Dots. I know, it really has, hasn't it? This box was sent to us by the lovely Lexi, who actually sent us a box quite a while ago. Um, so thank you for another box, Lexi. Uh, she sent us her letter on email, so shall we begin with Let's that? Let's get into it. Hi, Kate and Alex. I first started watching you about three years ago after meeting my British boyfriend as a way to anticipate any differences in what foods we may like. Since I sent you my first box, I've been trying in the comment section to get someone in Daytona to send you Zeno's Taffy, which I think is the best I've ever had. Now, Lexi's box was pretty big, so we split this off into two. So the Zeno's Taffy will be coming. If you want to see that, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on our video. My BF and I have watched all your tasting videos to Together. You even inspired us to try and start a YouTube channel oh, based on cool. all things food. Big Spoon, Little Spoon. I like that. That's it. a it's good name. It's such a good name. That's isn't a good it? name. Because it's like food is the spoons, like yeah. the wooden spoons, but then like a big spoon, little spoon cuddle, yeah. isn't it? Though he unfortunately has discovered he's quite uncomfortable on camera and will be stepping away after the new year. And at the point of writing this, I'm still trying to decide how to continue on my own. Well, I think you're doing a great job on your own anyway. So keep going um, and maybe he might dip in and out yeah. when he feels a bit more comfortable. And I completely get his side of it because when I first started being on these videos, it wasn't natural to me. Yeah, you felt a bit more yeah. uncomfortable. Well, and also, if you look back at our old videos, I think since being together, yeah. after In The Kitchen With Kate, I feel more comfortable having you as well. So I think because they are filming in different mm. countries, maybe when you can get together, you can... Oh, they film in different I countries. I think so, yeah. Oh. So I watched a video and it's like, he's kind of linking to her and then oh, she see. talks and then... So that's probably yeah. why it's harder. So yeah. maybe rock it on your own and then when you get together, you can do some videos yeah. together. Many of the things I got for this box, I haven't tried before. I hope you enjoy what I've sent or at least most of it. Okay, right. Alex, what would you like to begin with? I reckon it's been so long. I think we should start with the dots. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, we will also be sending Lexi a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try one of our British boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and if like us, you like trying food from around the world, this is a great opportunity for you to try British food and also help support the channel. So these are exciting. I don't remember them saying Pride of Dakota before. I wonder if that's like a new mm. branding thing or like a new initiative they yeah. started or I literally just don't remember saying that. So these are the Southwest seasoned. Oh. I'm now thinking, have we tried these? Possibly, but do you remember recently we had some pops and they were Southwest Ranch. So this is they the Southwest. Were. So, so these might be a little Southwest bit spicy or something. Southwest is a thing then. No, I, th I looked it up when I was editing. Oh, Southwest yeah. is like a sauce in its own right. Right. So Southwest Ranch is like a mix of the okay. two sauces. I know you love the original, so when I saw these, I had to get them. They seem to also make a honey mustard flavor, but I wasn't able to get a hold of them. No. Oh. They've got a good tang to them, haven't they? That's the thing. Oh, then you get the aftertaste of the mm. buttery pretzel. So nice. Dots really do do the best pretzels. We haven't had dots in so long. No, especially not the originals mm. in so long. I have different favourite pretzels in different categories. These thin ones, dots definitely. Yeah. But for the chunks, is the Snyders. Snyders. Yeah. Definitely. Honey mustard. Yeah, honey mustard. These are really good actually, and I think if they were definitely what we tried last time, I think I prefer them this time. Maybe because I'm a bit more used mm. to the flavour. We've had a bit more of this Southwest seasoning, haven't we? Yeah. Um, they're nice. Bold they're not too zesty. spicy, but they've got like a bit of a kick. Mm. It's quite peppery in a way, isn't mm. it? I like that. Like really that good. a lot. Okay, now these may look like savoury, but we've actually got some sweeter things here. We've got Cheetos bag of bones and it's cinnamon sugar flavor. Oh, that's cool. So these are obviously out for like the fall. Couldn't remember if you tried these or not. They release them under different names and different shapes, different times of the year. Oh, oh. have we had the Easter ones? I've had the Easter ones. Uh, the first time I encountered them, they were snowflake shaped and called Sweetos. That's clever. Actually, I think the Easter ones we had weren't cinnamon sugar. Weren't they like caramel? Yeah. I like the sound of cinnamon sugar. Yeah, it sounds really nice. Didn't we have some like cinnamon oh. sugar popcorn? Oh no. We had something puffed. They were puffed rice from Trader Joe's. Do you remember? Oh, they were really yeah. good. But they were like Halloween, I think, as well. Mm. 
Isn't it crazy that it's the body I think works so well with any flavor? Because I love Cheetos cheese, I kind of thought, is this gonna be any good? Yes, it is. But the Cheeto is kind of savory. And then the coating is like nice and sweet. It literally tastes like a churro. When we first heard of these kind of well, like sweet Cheetos mm -hmm. or puffed things, we're kind of like, well, that's a bit odd. Actually, they're really good. They work so well. I love popcorn, but sometimes like the bits get in your teeth a bit too much. This is almost like popcorn in a way, but, but without all of the, the downsides. The down <laughs> no, I think oh, this is so good. I don't like it. Without the downsides. Oh, sorry. I thought you said this is like popcorn, but the downsides. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just all in your teeth. <laughs> I love this. Mm. Really good. Really, really lovely. I was about to say better than normal cheese. <laughs> well, I don't think anything beats normal I, don't think so. I wouldn't go that far. But how good is that cinnamon sugar? Really good. It's the perfect cinnamon sugar. We've literally had something that tastes like that. It's almost like a, I think between the cinnamon and the puff and the sugar, it's almost like a caramelly flavor. It's really nice. Right, well, I'm giving the Cheetos 10, oh no, 12 out of 10. Well, I'll give them 10 out of 10, I won't go 12. Really? Yeah. I, I love them. I love cinnamon <laughs> sugar so much. Um, but I'm giving the dots probably just an 8. I'll give them a 9 because the original were probably 10 or 12. Yeah. Let's cleanse our palate yeah. because we have another cinnamon, but this is caramel and cinnamon apple mix. And this is popcorn. And this is from Smart Food. This is actually kind of like a full box. Yeah, it is. Because this is caramel cinnamon apple, cinnamon apple. These are apple cider donuts. Fair warning, okay. this popcorn may cause feelings of coziness. <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition flavor. Okay, so Lexi tried this for the first time when I bought it for you. Not mm. bad. Whoa. <laughs> it smells like Bath and Body Works. Yeah. It smells like a car freshener in a way. That smells, I think it, smells it doesn't smell like food. Vaguely apple -y. See, look. Some of them are more caramel and some of them are more... Oh, wow. That's really apple-y, that one. Let me get a caramel one. But it wasn't apple in in a way like in an apple pie. It was apple like a sweet. tango apple. Yeah. You know, the drink. Or like a sweet. Yeah, like, like a... those sour apple sweets. Or the smell of, like you say, a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer that's harvest apple. It was like green. I like it better when I had a caramel and an apple one. Balances it out better. I usually have real high praise for smart food, but I would say out of all the smart food we've had, they're probably my least favorite. Yeah. I just think they're trying to get too many flavors in there. Well, it's a bit too fake. It's a mm. bit synthetic. It's not actually and doesn't taste like a natural no, apple flavor. No, it doesn't. Also, I think the apple is overpowering. I can't taste almost any cinnamon. I can't taste a single bit of cinnamon. No. And usually, especially coming from America, usually the cinnamon's really yeah. punchy, isn't it? I would say I was a bit disappointed with that. I'm probably only giving to give that a five out of 10. Is that too harsh? Well, I was gonna give it a six, so uh, about the same. The popcorn itself though has been lovely pop, lovely and pop. Yeah. But do you get what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed this Cheetos. Like, I've got bits in my teeth now. Whereas those Cheetos, I don't. So maybe I'm more of a yeah, fan of a Cheeto mean, Yeah, because <clears throat> yeah, it's all round my I just got like now. a sharp bit, like when yeah. I swallowed. That never puts me off popcorn. Though. It doesn't, no. But, but yeah. I see what you mean. It, just more more pros for a Cheeto. Yeah. So if you can get your hands on those bag of bones, which obviously they're not going to have the bag of bones, but maybe a different version. A different version. Now, let's get these both out because these are both by the brand Mallies. Mallies. So we've got... Mally's Chocolates Pretzel Rod Milk Chocolate and we've got Mally's Chocolate Creamy Peanut Butter Cups Milk Chocolate. Mally's is a local chocolate maker that has recently started selling some products in the grocery stores around here. Oh, cool. Pretty sure you hadn't had anything by them yet. The peanut oh. cups, I've actually never tried these and I tend to prefer the grainy texture of Reese's. It says they're from Cleveland, Ohio. But isn't that awesome if you've got a local company and all of a sudden now they're in some supermarkets? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Is it just two pretzels? Two pretzels. And look at these. They're cute, aren't they? That's awesome. So are they going to be slightly different flavours or anything, do you reckon? Well, what, one's you mean like... the pretzels? Yeah, one's got like a rib chocolate on top, isn't it? Yeah. And one's more smooth. Should we break them in half? Yeah. And see if there's any difference in the middle. Just a pretzel in there. Just a pretzel in there. <laughs> Maybe it's just for a bit of aesthetics. Mm, good chocolate. Mm, the only thing that can make pretzel better? Chocolate. Cover in chocolate. That's a good pretzel. Nice, lightly salty. Mm, not my overly bit was salty. really salty, but not too salty mm, for me. And I love that mix of the salty with the chocolate. It's just so good, isn't it? 
What's it's also like? quite a nice dense pretzel. Mm. Sometimes I think with chocolate you need the real dense mm. one, don't you? That's nice. I wonder how much that is for just like two yeah. rods, but I wonder if the chocolate's more expensive. Yeah. It's good chocolate as well, isn't it? Mm, it's a nice, nice snack. I'm interested with these now. Yeah. Look at these little... A lot. Oh, wow. It's actually out. really thick. Oh, yeah. A lot deeper than a Reese's. But not as wide. Is it smooth or crunchy? Mm, smooth. Not as good as a Justin's. I was going to say where is this going to come. Or a Bucky's. But right. I think I'd prefer that to a Reese's. Mm. I think. Although the Reese's is slightly more salty. That's not very salty, mm. is it? That's quite... If you're not a massive peanut butter fan... Then I think that's probably the perfect peanut butter because you get it and you get the texture, but it's not too it's overpowering. It's not overpowering. If you were to give that to me, I think it would take me like now the aftertaste I can taste peanut, yeah. but throughout that whole thing, it's almost just like fudgy creamy. Yeah, could you almost think it's like a creamy caramel or yeah. nougat or something? Do you know what that is giving me the what? taste of? Tell me. M and M peanut butters, mm. and there I used to love them, they're didn't I? Very smooth because they're very smooth and not overpowering of peanut. Yeah. Whereas some of the other brands, like the Justins that you yeah. like, is quite peanutty. Yeah. But they are, del I really like those. Well, you can have them. I'll Thank let you, you keep those I'm on really stage. enjoying that. Yeah. I'm going those over the pretzel rods. Really? It's hard. I really like the pretzel rods. Now, even though you're putting like those other brands on top, mm. it's, you didn't dislike it no, though, I did really you? Like you it. like it. It's just, just it's saying, not as. If I was going to buy one and only could buy one, probably be one of those others. I think I might go the pretzel rods. Hmm. was my preferred out of those two. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. I think my favourite is the Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup and then that. Yeah. Um, and then I'll probably give those an 8 out of 10. That's probably one of the better pretzel rods things I've had. Yeah. That was really good. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. Okay. And I'm going to give the cups an 8 out, 8 of, 10. out of 10. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Right, what would you like to go for next, Al? Shall we um, go for the Oreos? Yeah. It's been a while since we've had an Oreo. I know it is, isn't it? I like the branding on this. Yes. Yeah. Limited edition. Limdish. Apple cider donut Oreos. Fun new full flavour. Unfortunately for me, I think I've come to the conclusion I just don't like golden cookies, only the chocolate ones. Which is funny because my favourites are the golden yeah. cookies. And I do generally prefer the chocolate ones, but I don't but dislike like the golden One ones. One of your favourites are actually like the gram ones. Yeah. You really like those. I try not to discriminate against Oreo cookies. You just eat them all. I just eat them all. I'll hold for you. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> See, are they golden or are they more gram? No, I think they're more gram. Do you think? Yeah, they're like more brown than the golden ones. Unless there's like flavour in. I'm wondering. No, that yeah, looks like that's quite golden. That is not a golden Oreo. Is it not? I can tell you that. Where is it where they usually explain? The middle is like apple cider and the outs and the biscuit oh, yeah, is flavoured donut. It does have donut. a bit of like seasonings in. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It does have a nice, it almost tastes like a churro. It does have like a nice apple pie, warm, warm kind of flavour, doesn't it? Do you, does this remind you? Now, I know a lot of you say you don't get these in your McDonald's, but here in England, we used to get McDonald's donuts. I don't know if you still can. Yeah, it reminds me of a cross between a McDonald's apple pie and a McDonald's donut. I've never or had the apple pie. a Popeye's apple cinnamon pie. Cinnamon apple pie. From Popeye's? Popeye's, yeah. When did you have one of those? Years ago. You don't remember years ago when we were in America, we had a real phase of going to Popeyes for mm. apple pies. I don't know if we ever actually ate there or we just got the pie there, I the apple pie. I remember going to Jack in the Box as well one mm. time too. I think they have actually done the flavour really well. I think so. I was scared it was going to be like the smart food. Well, I feel like we've had a fruity or an apple Oreo before and I didn't like it. I think it was too... Tasted like a green apple. Yeah. That's a problem I remember. Whereas this that. has a much nicer more subtle flavour actually tastes like an apple donut. Yeah, or an apple at pie. first I wasn't sure if I liked it, but then I carried on eating. I was like, actually, yeah, that is the flavour of like a cinnamon apple yeah. spice donut. I, I think that's really good, actually. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Some of these flavours, I think, can be a real miss. But I think this is a hit, yeah, isn't it? Hit, I think definitely. it's a hit. I probably um, am still going those strawberry shortcake oh, ones over eat. every limited yeah. edition. Although you love the firework I ones. love the firework <laughs> ones. And there was like a double chocolate one or something. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what that was. Like a chocolate fudge or I can't remember. Chocolate marshmallow or something. Yeah, something like that. But, but yeah, these I are up there. Good, yeah. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. I I'll think, give them I a 9 out of 10. I think they are that good. I think they're good. I think they're excellent. While we're on the sort of like biscuity thing, yeah. 
Do you want to try this little bag? Yeah. We've got some Kit Kats. Are they all the same flavour? All the same flavour. And there are these mini ones. Oh, gingerbread cookie. That's sweet, aren't they? Lexi said, Kit Kat has been doing seasonal mini flavours for about the last year. Most of them are awful. These are pretty good. And I really like the lemon ones in the spring if someone sent you those. We did try lemon ones. I was really excited because when we get different flavoured Kit Kats, they usually like the Japanese ones, which yeah. are excellent. But as um, Lexi pointed out, the American Kit Kats we haven't really enjoyed as much, have yeah, we? Yeah, no. Even it, those new kind of cool ones, the mocha ones and that. Yeah, the birthday and the fruity cake. pebbles. Yeah. And, well, if you like fruity pebble cereal, you like that. But yeah, some of them have been misses, haven't they? Yeah. I wonder why I like they, that. how they decide, okay, we're going to do minis in this one and big in the others. Uh -huh. Unless they have big versions as well. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. Mm. How is it? Oh, it's nice. I always forget, because obviously we get Kit Kats here. The difference, I think, is the wafer. Yeah. It's a lot harder to yeah. bite through, isn't it? Much chunkier. Ours is like you kind of snap through the chocolate on the outside and the crunch of is the wafer is so soft. I think that's better because they've played it much closer mm. to what is natural for a Kit Kat. You know, mm. a gingerbread cookie isn't that far from like a wafer. Yeah. And, whereas it's when they do some of these like birthday cake ones and it doesn't really quite hit the nail on the head. But yeah, that's pretty good. Wouldn't turn my nose up at that. No, I think that works. And I think for a lot of Americans, they like gingerbread and those mm. warm spices. So I think they probably went down yeah. quite well, actually, nice didn't they? Nice little Christmas treat. Is it time? Yeah, for the Dot Pretzel Bar. White candy bar with pretzels. <laughs> this should be right up Kate's alley. I looked to see if there was a dark or milk version, but couldn't find it. So that's, that's interesting. There you go. So I thought there was going to be much more... Me too. Pretzel, but it's like little tiny bits of broken up pretzel. Tiny. Within the white chocolate. For a second, I thought it was like minty. I think that's the butter mixing with the white chocolate. I'm not getting minty. No, but you I'm know when you kind of think... buttery. Really buttery. I think buttery with the sweetness of white chocolate isn't great, is it? That's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just wish there was more pretzel. I think because the white chocolate is so sweet, you need more pretzel to balance it out. There's hardly any, hardly any pretzel. pretzel in there. And I do think it needs to be milk chocolate, like with that. Yeah. This, to balance it. Because it's not white chocolate, it's white candy. Mm. So like candy it's melts, not giving you that like richness of a white chocolate. And then that pretzel, I think pretzel works in chocolate, but I think their pretzels are too buttery. Yeah. It doesn't work. That's what's nice about the pretzels on their own, because they're almost like sweet from the butter, yeah. where the chocolate is just too sickly sweet, yeah. isn't it? For me, I'm even saying sickly sweet. Mm. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. No! Maybe, so it's a, maybe it's the best that we <laughs> don't always leave something that we think is the yeah. best till like the end because now at least we've got all of this yeah. to try. <laughs> yeah. I was going to, I didn't understand what you were saying. No, I was like, there's loads of pop tarts ended left. with that, yeah. we'd be gutted. Gutted. Well, you would be. Well, I am gutted yeah. already, but hey ho, we do the tasting so you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to waste <laughs> your money. <laughs> Do let us know down below if you have tried that and loved it. I feel like a lot of people are going to be disappointed with that because Dots have such a big like fan base. Yeah. And I'm a white chocolate fan. Mm. And even I don't think that's great. Oh, that's a shame. I think we have oh. technically tried these. I think we've tried the ultimate yeah, flavour. These are the ultimate we? eight flavour gummy bears. And I'm pretty sure these are just like my favourite ones. I yeah. love all Albanese, but these yeah. are like the classic ones. Or do you Alfonso just want to save them mango, for... yeah. Amity raspberry, Asian pear, black currant, blood orange, crimson cranberry, Fuji apple, queen pineapple. Great flavours. Colours from real fruits and vegetables. Isn't that awesome? Natural flavours. Gluten-free, fat-free, low sodium, made in the USA. These are hands down the best gummy bears in America. I don't think I realised it was colours from real fruit and vegetables. Really? Oh. I wonder if that's more recent or they've always been like that. Well, they have always been quite more like natural, um, yeah. natural and coloured. So thank you, Lexi, for those. Mm. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I won't get any. No. <laughs> you won't get a look in. So we've got lemon cream pie. We've got peach cobbler. Oh, that sounds nice. And chocolatey churro. So mm. this is very exciting. Now Lexi says... What does Lexi say? Okay, so I bought four boxes of these and split them between you, me and James, oh. uh, her boyfriend. So we'd get three vids out of one box. They are three new flavours. Peach cobbler, lemon meringue pie and choc churro, Lexi's favourite. There's also a new mango one. Ooh. But I haven't found it yet. Whoa, what's that? That's good. This is the lemon cream pie. Oops. Oops. 
Look at that. How yeah, that oh, looks that looks really good. Well, nice. I'll put it that way. Yeah. And should we try this bit here? There you go. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had a lemon pop tart. No. That is nice. Mmm. Maybe that's what they call a lemon meringue pie, because that's what that tastes like. Mmm. Mm. Look at the like inside. It's like a lemon gel. Mmm, it's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. That's delicious. Mm. Well, even cold, I think that could be one of the best pop tarts we've ever yeah, had. Yeah, that is really, really good. It's really hard to get lemon right, and I think they've done it. Yeah, it's really it fresh, taste really like natural. A, a cleaning product. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy the graham cracker flavored crust and topping. So that's what that is, and she's ready. Mm. Nice. That tastes like a fresh dessert. It's like a fresh lemon meringue pie. That's that good. is lovely. Most of the time, I think we do prefer heated, don't we? Mm. But I, I do... like cold, but that just takes it to another yeah. level. It makes it just feel like it's been freshly made, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I still think pop tarts, as they're traditionally intended, are so sweet for breakfast. They are. But that would be lovely as like a dessert or like a sweet mm. snack. Yeah, having it? it as a dessert would be delicious. Mm. That is very, very good. I'm going to give that 10 out of 10. I'm going to give it 12 out of 10. Really? I think it's one you of the best. You do like lemony things. It's one of the best pop tarts I think we've ever had. Really? Yeah. Okay, so chocolatey churro. And I've got peach cobbler. So this is another fruity one. Mm. Look, they're all like the same sort of style this time with like a little yeah, speck little on dots. top. Because it's chocolatey churro, I thought it'd be a bit darker on top. Yeah. Peach cobbler, that sounds nice. I love peach cobbler. So peach cobbler is a bit like apple pie, but with peach, is it? Is that the closest thing we have or not? No, because a peach, Ooh, look, it's peach got a cobbler. Oh, that looks good. That looks center. good. Center. It's more like an apple crumble. What did I say? Pie. Oh, I meant apple crumble. Oh, right. Mmm. Not as natural as the lemon meringue, but that fruity peach is lovely. I feel like um, mm. peach would be harder though, mm. because at least with lemon you can get actual zest or something, whereas peach you can't. I'm sure you can get actual peach. No, but zest I'm talking about. Like a lot of mm. time you get like some lemon flavor in a dessert, not mm. by the juice, so it ruins the texture. No, I see. Just by the zest. Maybe you could make a, uh, a peach syrup. Mm. Oh wow, it's nice. That is. It's really good, isn't it? Amazing. That peach flavor is lovely. Mm. What do you think to a chocolatey churro? I like it. So when I was in America, I had the Quaker oats that was peaches and cream. Mm. And that's given me that sort of vibe. It's lovely. That is nice. Got a bit of mess. I think the fruity one is better. The two fruity ones are better than the chocolatey churro, but I think they're all good. I feel like it mellows the peach a bit. Yeah. And I think that makes it nicer, less like sweet and baked. I'm the opposite. In some ways, I think I preferred it cooler. Really? Yeah. Mm, I like it warm. That's nice. When you picture peach taste, that's what you picture. Yeah. That's like a peach sweet. Like the rings. Mm. Yeah, the peach hearts. Mm. Delicious. I think this will be the biggest jump in how much I like the flavour. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, it's not. Because I've had quite a lot of fruitiness. Mm. It kind of makes that a bit weird. It's like a really sweet chocolate, like a chocolate sauce. Chocolate needs to be like richer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's more, it's more churro mm. cinnamon than chocolate. More cinnamon churro with a little bit of chocolate. Mm. But what I like about that is I don't like it when things are too chocolatey. So I like that. I think I'm going peach, lemon, and then chocolatey churro. I'm gonna go lemon, peach, and then chocolatey churro. And what As scores? I've said, the lemon is a twelve. Right. Peach is uh, 10. Chocolatey churro is like a 7. I'm going lemon and peach 10 out of 10 and I'm going the chocolatey churro 8. Which is so funny because when you said the names of them, I thought I would like chocolatey churro yeah, number 1. Yeah, number 1. Mm. I thought you would as well because you don't always like the really fruity, fruity ones, things, yeah. do you? Ah! I prefer the rich chocolate stuff. Yeah, mm. but that's because that's not rich chocolatey. No, that's exactly. why I don't like it. <sighs> not that I don't like it, it's just... It's just not as yeah, chocolatey. A <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Tricky of the week. Ooh, tricky this week. A lot of good stuff. But I think the runaway winner for me this week is the lemon Pop-Tart pot. Really? Yeah. I really love that. My treat of the week is... Cheetos Bag and Bone Cinnamon Sugar. <laughs> These are awesome. They I love them so they? much. They're just so 
different and it's like I really enjoy crisps and sometimes you want something sweet. Do you know what I mean? It's but still, that is like eating crisps. Yeah. Mm. So these are awesome. I think these are definitely my treat of the week. And obviously I didn't try them, but if yeah. I had, these would have been my treat yeah. of the week because... Albany's all day, every day. Ah, oh, Lexi, thank you so much for that amazing box. We will be doing Lexi's part two very soon, so make sure you click subscribe if you want to know when that's live. Yeah. But we will be sending Lexi a box of British treats back as a thank you. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, that's a great way for you to help support the channel, but also to try some delicious British treats. Exactly. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.